Hi, I'm Bowling Otter. And I'm Lizzy Sandwich. And welcome to the BS on the Internet. Well, it's been another one of these weeks. It's a quarantine week. Quarantine week. Another one. Another one. And another one. And another one. But DJ you know Khaled. I know. <laughs> but they're gonna. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the guy. I'm just. <laughs> and another one. Nothing wrong. To each his own. Okay. But we're still in quarantine. Yep. Are you guys coming out of quarantine yet? We're starting to open up non-essential business on yes. Monday, I believe. Yes. For curbside but, pickup, right? Right. Just curbside pickup. I'm not gonna get people into a restaurant or anything like that. No, I don't think that's gonna happen. For no. And we were just having this conversation before we started. I said once they open up these restaurants and like they they're going to do like the social distancing thing, like will you still go? Mm-hmm. And you said no. No, not not, not at first. I mean, they did just start I, opening I up parks around here. Yeah. And the first weekend they opened up the parks was at the time the nicest weekend of the oh, year so it far. It was beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, so yeah. it was like you want to go and it's like no. Because not only Everybody's is it the first day go. the parks are open, it's also the nicest day of the year so far. So that place was going to be packed. Yeah. And if it was packed, you know, not everybody there was being very responsible. Right. Not everybody. I know. You know? I know. So I needed some time, some little bit of settling down, and then we'll kind of ease our way back into that yeah. kind of situation. Well, you know what's really interesting? And I read this, like, just before we came down here. You were in the shower. I forgot to tell you. Oh, my gosh. Your hair is so long. I just know. Oh, yeah. yeah it's so cute. Probably. Frovid 19 is still alive. It's getting really long. It's getting long. <gasps> oh, my God. It's the longest I've had in a long time. Wow. But I was reading about um, what they're going to do about opening and where it spreads. They're starting to learn about the situations where COVID spreads the most. Yeah. And they said that 9% of the cases caused... I think 60% of the cases, or eight, it might be 80% of the cases. Oh my wow. gosh, this is going to be completely inaccurate. <laughs> but it's it was mostly restaurants okay, and enclosed spaces and crowds and yeah. cruise ships, concerts, gatherings, big parties. That makes sense. Not like the grocery store, like quick trip to the grocery store and back. Like yeah. these big, like close quarter type situations. They just, they spread there. So, I mean, I think I'm going to stay away for a while. Yeah. I don't know. Just for a little bit. But I know, it was another week in quarantine is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. But we have some really interesting news before we start everything we have some trailers to watch i'm really excited to watch them yes we're gonna talk about unreal engine 5 holding off on watching these things it's always excruciating when stuff comes out to the week it's like we gotta wait till the flipping weekend we're gonna record bs on the internet so i can't watch this yet yeah i know and then we're gonna talk about uh playstation studios yes that was a cool that was an interesting announcement yeah Yeah, i want to see what what that's all about but first off today is brother otter's birthday guys yes it is he's one one. year old today he's one he's one I know. He At least you put just, a picture up on uh, on Instagram and Twitter. He's so cute. He looks just like cute Maddie. freaking picture. I know. I feel bad that we can't have a big thing or whatever. Like I made a cake and stuff, and you know, you know, he got presents and things. But he's one. He's one. Like, he, he's just like that he's one. He's like, hey, yeah. like I'm tired. Yeah. Like, can I go to bed my, now? Where's yeah. my graham cracker? Yeah. And then just let me sit here and play. You know, yeah. he's like, all he's right. He's fine. He's fine. So he is. He's totally fine. <laughs> he's totally cool. And the other thing is, do you want to talk about the test we had done? Oh yeah. So we went and had. Uh, we um, fortunately one of the um, farm not pharmacies uh, the labs around here one of the lab companies uh, started doing antibody testing for COVID-19 mm-hmm. to basically say like if you've had COVID-19 before and you've recovered from it mm-hmm. You should show up positive in the antibody testing, and if you do, then they really need your plasma yeah. uh, to treat existing sick COVID patients. Right. So um, we were going in there thinking that, like, hey, um, you got really sick in we January, sick. February. You got pneumonia, yeah. and you had this incredible cough yeah. that sounded really reminiscent of the way people describe the COVID nineteen yeah. cough. I had an inhaler. Yeah, I had fever. I got sickest I had been in a while too. I had oh. and uh, I had a, I had a fever, and I hadn't had a fever in a very long time yeah and um, and i had this cough that wouldn't go away for about a month and a half right so it was like i wonder if we had it mm-hmm. it's to some degree we've wondered for a while mm-hmm. so we thought okay let's go get tested and see if we got the antibodies right <laughs> turned out negative negative so uh i think we just got really bad colds i think we got really bad colds that- and there's been a few more people i've talked to also that have had really were really sick and it wasn't the flu like yeah. they got tested for the flu it wasn't the flu right and uh, but it all f- seemed like the flu. Otherwise, I've mm-hmm. talked to several people who had that this year, mm-hmm. um, and everyone's showing up negative on the test. So I think there's also just a really bad cold that went around too. I'm stumped. But we certainly didn't end up in the hospital, right? So I, I mean, like, I could have sworn that we had it. Like I was, I was shocked. I mean, it's we just were like so sick. We, we were, were so, but so but it's sick. still not. When, when you think breathe. about. When you think yeah. about people, though, that they're going to the hospital, they're filling hospitals. I know. So, like, 
We what weren't must, that sick. What must it be like? Yeah, we weren't that we sick. We were that sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To the point where we thought we had, like, I legit thought we had it. Like, yeah. if any of you were around in January, you remember how, like, sparse our videos were. And, it, like, yeah. I was so, like, I couldn't sit here and do it. Like, I was yeah. deleting. We really didn't get started back up on this in, in earnest until, like, March. Oh, God. Because we were recovering from so that. So sick. Yeah. So sick. But, yeah, we came up negative, which now makes me a little bit more nervous. It makes me a lot more nervous. About getting it. Yeah. yeah. You know, because for a little bit, I had, like, a little bit of, like, bravado. I was like, yeah. oh, I bet we had a little air of invincibility. Yeah, yeah, we were like, oh, so maybe we could like go around or, you know, maybe it'll be some peace of mind to know that we had it and we'll know that that was it, you know? Yeah. But, um, yeah, I don't know. No, so now it's just like, nope, we could just get it like everybody else. So I know. That's uh, not fun to think about, but, but we're being careful anyway. You know, we never stopped being careful and we'll just continue being careful. Yeah, But yeah, yeah, that was probably the most interesting part of our week. Yeah. I think. Yeah, it was a really quick blood test. We were like yeah. in and out. We it had was, results in like 24 hours. Yeah, not even. Crazy. Yeah. Not even. It one was tube, awesome. blood test, one tube, and then not even 24 hours later the website had the results so yeah, yeah. it was totally it was worth awesome. doing it was easy to do yeah. uh ten dollar pe- copay I yeah mean, so yeah. you know if you have insurance that'll cover it so yeah sure you know there's that oh. all right well now it's time for what you watching what you watching just kidding we're not really watching anything different <laughs> right now but we are listening to something we're listening um if you got do you guys know jacob collier do you know who he is if you don't know who he is jacob you probably want to you probably want to find out who he is because i think he's going to start becoming very important in the he, music scene he kind of already is but he's still kind of Sliding under the radar. Look, he's got 530,000 subscribers. I know. Well, I, I can't even wrap my brain around his his music at all, really. It, he's uh, he's I think a genius. He's a, I think he's like a savant. Yeah. I, like, in all honesty, I think he's a savant, really. Yeah. And his his music is so, like, wild to listen to. Like, we've shown it to so many people, and it's like, what is happening? Like, yeah. what is he doing? And because of that, he's working with all kinds of different people, and we're discovering other people along the way. I, we just found Tank and the Bangas, who yeah. I didn't know was a thing, and I'm loving Tank and the Bangas, if any of you know who uh, they are. Yeah. So, like, yeah, give him a listen. Like, how would you even describe what this is it's kind of like jazz pop funk yeah well see he got popular by like you go to his um go to his most popular videos does he have that um uh, oh. that playlist on here if you go if you scroll down uh does he have most populars no he doesn't okay no, he doesn't he, uh, he, he got really popular years ago he was a teenager like uh like uh like 15 i think 15 14 15 years old Mm -hmm. doing covers um on on youtube videos uh basically like like stevie wonder songs stuff like that oh right. and everything was just vocals and he just had a hundred of his faces on there doing all these really complex chord structures yeah um yeah complicated voicings and really difficult stuff and he's an incredible piano player so he throws some of that in there and then over the years he's starting to actually put out release music right um and it's it's ridiculous. Some of the stuff's crazy, but the newest yeah. stuff's actually a lot even more accessible, I would say. Yeah. He put a few songs out recently, the newest ones, this big banner at the top, All I Need, Ty Dolla Sign's in it. Yeah. I mean, he's getting, now he's getting like popular industry folks interested in him and right. working with him. You're starting to see that happen more. Really that song, In My Bones, is on there is really cool. It's got Kimbra, who was yeah. in that song, um, somebody Gautier. I used to know with Gautier. Right, yeah. right. Um, so, I don't know. If you haven't heard it, just check it out. Yeah. He's doing something really, really cool right now. And I, I have a feeling that a lot more people are going to start hearing it in the next few years. Yeah, I agree. You know, I he's agree. already got Grammys. Yeah, you know? it's fascinating. Yeah. It's fascinating. And how old is he now? Like, what is he, like, young 20s, I think, still? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, yeah it's really, in- it's, like, interesting. Oh, you know where you we know? found him? Where? It was on Wired, I think. There was... Oh, yeah, it was down here. I just passed it. Oh, okay. There was a yeah. video that, that... Here we go. He explained a concept in five levels. Yeah, musician explains con- one concept in five levels of skill. Yeah. Right, so it's child, teen, college student, grad student, and expert. Yeah, ended at um, um, Herbie Hancock. Herbie Hancock. Yeah, yeah. And he's and the the topic was harmony. He oh, was, that's he was right. explaining was harmony, harmony. Yeah, at yeah. these five levels, and we, we were just kind of I think we were like transferring some files after we finished recording, yeah. and we threw it up just like oh this looks like it might be interesting. I have no idea who he was. Yeah, right. And um, we're watching him like who the hell is this guy? Yeah, like yeah. totally destroying it on this keyboard, coming up with these insane voicings off the top of his head, and right. he looked like a kid. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. and and he you also like, not only that he explained them at each one of those levels in a very easy to understand way. Right, He's right. a very good communicator. Yeah. So then we went from there to actually listening to his music, and I just started discovering this guy. And uh, yeah, he's, he's awesome. really impressive, really interesting dude. Yeah, please check it out. Uh, <laughs> Maddie. Excuse me. So, the wait, last wait, two wait, things wait, we had. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Okay. 
All right, the last two things we're going to go over are yeah. a couple of videos that we've really been anxious to watch. Yeah. Um, one of them is the announcement of uh, the PlayStation. Sony's launching PlayStation Studios mm. uh, alongside the PlayStation 5, which I can only assume is there to compete with Xbox Game Studios. Maybe. Where Xbox Game Studios just started swallowing up a bunch of other really talented developers yes. and making them all first party titles, right? Mm -hmm. So now we have PlayStation Studios, which I can only imagine may be the same thing. Yes. Here's a video from IGN, uh, who I'm hoping will give us a good breakdown of it. We didn't vet yeah, it first, so let's just check it out. Meet PlayStation Studios. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Sony has revealed a new umbrella brand, PlayStation Studios, that will unite all of its first-party games. Look for it to launch alongside PlayStation 5 later this year. As reported by GamesIndustry.biz, this new branding will only be used on those games that are developed and managed by Sony. A new opening splash video for PlayStation Studios was also revealed that includes characters from The Last of Us, God of War, Uncharted, Ratchet and Clank, Horizon Zero Dawn, and Little Big Planet. No one from Days Gone, though. Hmm. Come on! Come on! PlayStation 4 games will also feature the PlayStation Studios branding, but games just about to be released, ah! such as The Last oh. of Us Part 2 and Ghosts of Tsushima, will oh, not include the studio's yeah. logo, as it won't be quite ready in time for their launches this summer. Uh. PlayStation Studios branding will also be used for PC ports. Oh. Sony's senior vice president and head of global marketing at Sony Interactive Entertainment, Eric Limpel, has said, quote, any future games it releases on other platforms will also carry the branding. Okay. Again, however, it will not be used for the launch of Horizon Zero Dawn on PC this summer. Limple said, over the last few years, and even the last decade, the strength of the titles coming out from our studios has been stronger than ever. We have been thinking about how we unite all these great games under one brand, and really the purpose of that is to make the consumer understand that when they see this brand, they're getting ready for a robust, innovative, deep experience that they've come to expect from games coming from PlayStation. So we came up with PlayStation Studios. There will also be variations on the opening Splash video. While it appears similar to the kind of branded Splash you see before a Marvel Cinematic Universe film, right. Limple asserts that the inspiration for the branding came from the games themselves. He said, we're all huge Marvel fans. One of our biggest games of all time has a Marvel character in it, Spider-Man. But this is really about doing something specific for our games and our industry. In addition to PlayStation Studios such as Naughty Dog, Insomniac, Santa Monica Studio, Media Molecule, and Guerrilla Games, the brand will also, quote, apply to games made by work for hire developers under Sony's direction, uniting them under a single name and logo. You're so gentle, girl problems again. Gotcha. Well, that game was so good. Yeah, it was awesome. What do you think about PlayStation Studios? Let us know in the comments, and for all your PlayStation news, stay tuned to IGN. Hmm. Okay. 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 So, um, I it's interesting that they did this because yeah. it seems to me like it's basically uh, I like it looks like it's the same thing as the Xbox One, but mm -hmm. Xbox Studios, uh, Xbox basically made Xbox Game Studios to do what PlayStation's been doing all along. Yeah. Because they've had these um, studios under and making first party uh, games under the Sony brand, under the PlayStation brand. Yes. But um, yes. Uh, they just, you know, and Xbox did not. So now they're doing the same thing with swallowing up all those developers and making Xbox game studios. Mm -hmm. But the branding was better there because it's like, oh my gosh, this is Xbox Game Studios. It makes uh, Xbox games. So now it's like, okay, we'll just basically call this PlayStation game, PlayStation Studios. Mm -hmm. I think what might come in most hand, handy is like when they said when they release games on other platforms, it'll oh, still yeah, say yeah. PlayStation it'll Games, say it's PlayStation, PlayStation Studios. The PCs and so yeah. people will recognize that and be like, oh, yeah. this is a PlayStation game that I'm playing on PC now, yeah, sure. but I'm, I'm connecting that with the, it being a PlayStation release. Mm -hmm. So seems like smart branding to me. I don't know. Uh, yeah. But it doesn't sound like anything really different is like happening. Revolution is yeah. going on here. We're not going to yeah, get different yeah. games because of this. Right, right, right. Basically, right? Yeah. Whereas in Xbox, a little more exciting because we are going to get yes. some different um, exclusives to them for that. So, yeah. I don't know. Interesting. Okay. Okay, and lastly, we're going to watch the Unreal Engine 5 reveal. I am so excited for this. I am really excited for this. So too. Apparently, excited. it's running on the PlayStation 5. We just saw some PlayStation news. Right. Um, this is cool because um, whenever we have the next-gen bump, yeah. Unreal Engine is one of the coolest ways to see exactly what it's going to be like. Yeah, gives you or a little peek. the potential of it. Sure. Because they are always on the cutting edge of using the max amount of hardware, like getting the most yeah, out yeah. of new hardware and really like doing some amazing yeah. things. I mean, since They're they great. came out with Unreal, 
you know, yeah, that's awesome. decades ago. Yeah. It's really been like right at the front. So many games using Unreal Engine. So oh this is a really good demo for what yeah. can be done, on uh, this case, on a PlayStation 5. Oh my gosh. So here we go. Next I'm gen. I'm so excited to see this. Yeah, and it says so it's a real-time demo, so this is not pre-rendered. Oh. Oh, Apparently, this is there. not pre-rendered. This is okay. actually running real time. So, okay. all right, let's see. I've been right. dying to see this. I know. I'm so excited. It was so hard to <sighs> watch this. Oh, it's nine minutes. Everybody buckle up. Hello, Hello. I'm Brian Garris, technical Brian. director of graphics here at Epic Games. Hello. Hi, I'm Jerome Plateau, art director of the special project. A few years ago, we got together as a too. team and brainstormed where we thought we could push forward the state of the art in real time graphics. Mm -hmm. There were two key areas that stood out. The first. Dynamic global illumination. Who does he remind Beautiful you of bounce left? lighting instantaneously. Sure. I don't have to be constrained to do a game where the world has to be static. And I'm able to iterate a lot faster. And we call this new system Lumen. We're about to show you what it is capable of. But first, there was another area that we thought we could push forward. Truly virtualized geometry. The artist wouldn't have to be concerned over poly counts, draw calls, or memory could directly use film quality assets and bring them straight into the engine. And that's a big deal for artists. I just want to be able to import my ZBrush model, my photogrammetry scan, my CAD data, without wasting any time optimizing, creating LODs, or even lowering the quality to make it hit frame rate. In the end, that's what it's all about. Art that just works. And we call this new technology Nanite. Here is the future of Unreal Engine running live on a PlayStation 5. Oh my god. Awesome. Let's take a look at it. Okay, say, say, say. This has to be the right way. Oh my god. Why that lighting? Before we continue, let's stop a moment and take a look at some of the key features of this demo. Much of what you see was built with Quixel Megascan assets, but instead of using the game versions, we used the cinematic versions, which would typically only be used in film. <gasps> there are around a million triangles each. And thanks to virtual texturing, they all use 8K textures as well. Whoa! Nanite can render an insane number of triangles very quickly. There are over a billion triangles of source geometry in each frame that Nanite crunches down losslessly to around 20 million drawn triangles. What does that many triangles look like? This isn't noise. These are the triangles, each a different color. Most are so small that they look like noise. Nanite achieves detail down to the pixel, which means triangles are often the size of pixels. <laughs> this amount of geometric detail requires shadows to be pixel accurate as well, and Nanite can do that too. <laughs> Speaking of lighting, all of the lighting in this demo is completely dynamic, with the power of Lumen that even includes multi-bounce global illumination. No light maps, no baking here. Without GI, all of that beautiful lighting is gone. With Lumen enabled, we can move the light and the bounce changes instantly. Whoa. Oh, that's very cool. Okay, let's keep going. I, I was crazy how close it could get to that texture and it still looked really yeah. high res. Yeah. We've made some great additions to our audio system as well. Convolution Reverb allows us to measure reverberation characteristics of real spaces, like actual caves that we sampled, and reproduce them in virtual spaces. That stuff's Sound normally field really rendering allows intensive. us to record and playback spatialized audio. I bet. I bet. Like it's a popular thing to do with recording, but it's it's taxing. All of this adds up to a more immersive experience. Oh, look at the lighting, like, on her. Wow. Uh. Wow. Yeah. Bats! This swarm of bats was created with our Niagara effects system. Particles in Niagara can now talk to one another and understand their environment like never before. What? This is scary, man. We've also added a ton of new functionality to run fluid simulations like you see in the water below. Oh, that's cool. Look how, look, look how sharp the textures, textures are all the way. All the way at the top. They all the way at the distance. The demo runs on our chaos physics system. Here we are using it to accurately simulate the rigid bodies of the falling rocks and the cloth of her scarf. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Wow. 
Now that the environment is so complex, we've needed to greatly improve our animation systems to adapt. We've added predictive foot placement and motion warping, which dynamically modifies IK and body position to look more natural. For the character to more realistically interact with the environment, we've added the ability to trigger seamless contextual animation events, like her hand on the door. That's promising. Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. Dynamic GI is amazing, not just for speeding up iteration, but also for its impact on gameplay. Nice Any light touch. source can move while it still having be. beautiful bounce lighting. Dynamic Look. illumination means specular as well, which you can see on all the metal surfaces. You can even see the Niagara-powered bugs reacting to the light. Lumen not only reacts to moving light sources, but also changes in geometry. Wow. That's, cool. That's really cool. Remember we mentioned high poly assets? This statue was imported directly from ZBrush and is more than 33 million triangles. What? No baking of normal maps, no authored LODs. I don't know any of this terminology, but I mean, I understand I'm what it's getting at here. Yeah. And it looks awesome. And we can do more than a single statue. There are nearly 500 of that exact statue at the same detail level placed in this room for a total of over 16 billion triangles from statues alone. And we're saying this is running in real time, so there's no frame rate hit. Uh -uh. Over this entire demo, there are hundreds of billions of triangles. What the hell? With Nanite, you have limitless geometry, and with Lumen, you have fully dynamic lighting and global Whoa. illumination, all running on a PlayStation 5. What the heck? Wow, that looks film real. Like, that looks like film quality. Like, you've been able to see this stuff in, like, pre-rendered cutscenes before, but... Yeah, There's yeah. Much time left. And this doesn't need to be constrained to small rooms. It can stretch all the way to the horizon. We were just saying that. The portal! It's open! Don't fail me now. Ah! Whoa! Oh my god! Wow, so, no, so none of that has, is like just like a pre-rendered background. It's all... Oh. And that was all the way in the distance there. Yeah. And it's all the way out to... Wow! It's time to see what's next. That's cool. That's really cool. So I like how they didn't just like do it where you think they would. They didn't just like increase the raw power of everything so they yeah. just cram more polygons in. They just rebuilt from right. the ground up how it's even calculated. Yeah. So they didn't need the more raw power. I mean, I'm sure wow. they needed some, but not to the same ratio, right? Wow. That was awesome. That was really cool. Wow, that was nine minutes. Didn't you not even feel nine no. minutes? I was like totally into that. Wow. That was awesome. Yeah, that was that was that looks super impressive. Um, I especially like this oh part God. with like the, so cool. the lighting opening up. This is so cool. You know, like here when yeah. like the the, the, uh, like the, the roof light opened. Yeah, flooded in. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. that was really cool. And, and like, on metal too. Yeah, like, and all the really detail tricky. in there. That's crazy. And the fact that like you know wow. this this is apparently real time with no frame rate hit there. I mean, you'd always expect when you like when you you're playing a game and you pan over to something with yeah. a ton of polygons and everything just go like. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah, you know? yeah. Oh um, my god! And this is like just completely That's smooth the whole awesome. way. That's awesome! Yeah. Okay. Wow. Well, that that I'm makes excited. me. Uh, I got like a little bit of renewed excitement yeah. for the next gen now. You know. Okay, that was that episode of BS on the Internet. Yes, it was. If you want to know anything more about what we talked about, links are in the description. Mm -hmm. 
But in the meantime, don't forget to watch us on Twitch. What is in the scene of the light? What is in the scene of the light? Maddie, I want to know the answer to the question. Cinnabon, 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 yeah! And if you like this video, yeah. please support us on Patreon. Click like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, bye. Bye.